channel inspired birdie happy new year happy 2020 this is my very first haul of the new year and as per its title this is a combination haul so today we're going to be starting off with the dollar tree and then we're going to go right into dollarama so for those of you who aren't aware dollarama is a canadian dollar store so we are going to do both today all right guys so just to jump in with like what my agenda was i really had a purpose of looking specifically for one any kind of crafts for my kid. I'm always on the outlook for really fun craft kits. Uh, two, what do they have for St. Patty's? Because I do want to start my St. Patrick uh, DIY so that I can have those out. I've already done my Valentine's Day one, so if you're interested, go ahead, check those out. They'll be at the bottom of this video. And that was really my primary reason for going. And then the third uh, was for sensory kit items. I'm looking to put together some like toddler fun, you know, fine motor skill uh, sensory kits. And you need kind of like little toys to put in those. So I wanted to look for those types of things. So I'll show you what I got. So we're just gonna jump right into this. Uh, let's start with these guys. So this is completely new. I have never seen this before. Um, so if you have kids, they might be into this but I did look them up on Amazon and online just to see what the price was. So to get these for a dollar is a steal. So apparently it's these cute little collectibles. They have tons of them right now at my Dollar Tree, um, but there's tons of different ones that you collect and apparently kids really like these for their school bags and their shoes. So I don't know, I've never seen these before, but if this is something that you think your kid might be on the outlook for, or sorry, the lookout for, check your dollar store. So I got this one. And then I got this one as well. Super fun. And it was all in my Valentine section, which was interesting. All right, what else did I get here? Uh, let's do Valentine's Day. So picked up some of these felt hearts. Really fantastic to have these on hand for any kind of DIYs. So as you can see, you get eight of them. Super pretty and quite a big size. Uh, and then I picked up these. I didn't get these for what they're for. I got them for something else, but these are cards. So if you have any kids that like to do cards in class, you get six of them and it comes with little erasers attached to the card. So I thought that was really interesting. So this is the one that I picked up, but they also had like outer space characters. I saw dinosaurs. So yeah, nothing to show really on the back. It's just your standard to and from. So that's lots of fun. And then I picked up this package, so an eight pack of bubbles. And I just thought that would be fun for my kid to play with. Little bubbles. And then I saw a few people um, haul these uh, craft kits. I thought this is a lot of fun. So these are little pom-pom craft kits. You can make six of them. And you just make this little guy right here, or gal, guy or gal. And they have different colors. So they had the red, pink, and white silver. So I thought that would be a lot of fun. And I think that's it guys from the Dollar Tree. Oh, and sorry, one last item. I also picked up these low cut socks. These are um, five to nine. So these are for me and I just thought they were really cute for Valentine's Day. They always have so many fun socks for the different holidays. Uh, Obviously, they're Dollar Tree, so they're not as comfortable as more expensive socks that you'd buy, but they're super fun. And you can always wear them over top another pair of sock as well. So a little kitty cat that says love. All right, so a few other items. Um, this jar, super pretty. I did get this for a DIY for St. Patty's, but I love this texture that's on it, which is specifically the reason that I got it was for that texture. So it's a pretty good size. They also had little ones that look like milk bottles. They had that like little milk symbol on it. Um, so pick that up. And then I picked up some stuff for uh, St. Patty's, like I mentioned. So foam shamrocks, you get 12 in here. You can use the sparkle side or you can flip it if you're looking to make anything and just use the other side. So I picked up some of those. Um, kids item, mess free. Any parents out there, you probably know what these are all about. But anytime I see Crayola, super good deal from Dollar Tree uh, and especially mess free amazing to have in the car or if you're going on any kind of trip and it's Paw Patrol so I grabbed that as well um for a sensory kit I picked up these dinosaurs these were in the birthday sections if you're looking to put together like loot bags or anything like that but I got these for a sensory bin fun dinosaurs 
And then guys, this I think is leftover from their Christmas. It was in a St. Patty's area where they're um, setting up a bunch of like leprechauns and shamrocks and stuff. I can't wait to check it out when they're done. But anyways, this was just randomly sitting there and I just thought it was so cute. So I picked it up for a possible DIY for Christmas next year, or I guess at the end of this year. Super cute. Yeah. Um, okay, so socks. I grabbed these guys here. So crew socks, these are the longer ones. So they're not like just the, the short uh, low cut. How adorable is this sloth? So I picked up one sloth and then I picked up uh, another little, is it a cat? I don't even know if it's a cat or a squirrel. I think it's, it looks like a cat. Um, but anyways, it says I'm lucky. Yeah, it's a cat. And I just thought those were a lot of fun. And candles. So I'm moving on to these candles. Um, I try not to get candles from, I try not to get candles in general, uh, unless it's soy. Just for a healthier perspective, uh, soy, I couldn't believe they had this at the Dollar Tree. I know these aren't new. I think they've had these before, but soy is really hard to find at the Dollar Tree and it smells amazing. You don't get like super too much, but that's a pretty good amount. So I grabbed that because it is soy. And then I grabbed this one as well, which is, as you can see, soy. Just If you're looking for soy, you just have to look at the front label. If it doesn't say soy, it isn't soy. So I thought that was a lot of pretty with the copper lid. And they smell really good. They had a black one as well, but it had uh, no smell to it whatsoever. Picked up some uh, dry erase markers. I really don't have much else to say about that. And then these, I, I know you guys can see these in the background, um, but these are just some stickers. These are your window cling stickers, but I picked them up for a DIY. And these aren't new. They have these every single year. All right, and then my last two items from Dollar Tree are these little sticker kits. How fun is this? So mega sticker kits, apparently they're $2.49, and that looks like euros. So I have no idea what that would be in American or Canadian. But for a dollar, how super cool is that? And I was most excited, actually, about a sticker album. I've been looking for a sticker album, so I'm really excited to check that out. So this one is, as you can tell, the Trolls. Lots of stickers included. And then I also grabbed the Paw Patrol. So there you have it. I'm trying to think what else they had. I think they had Peppa Pig as well. All right, so that's what I got from the Dollar Tree. Let's move on to Dollarama. All right, guys, so let's go through this bin. Um, I picked up this bin. This is the sensory bin that I'm going to use. I just like that it didn't have any holes, and I tried finding one from Dollar Tree, but I couldn't find one. So I just got this standard white uh, that was, I think, $2. trying to see if the price. Yeah, $2. Uh, and I just thought it would be perfect because it could hold anything, right? Sand, snow, whatever. Um, all right, so let's go through this bin. So picked up some more dry erase markers. These were actually the ones that I, I was looking for, um, but I picked up the other ones as well. So I picked up this pack, $1.25. Now my Dollar Tree is $1.25, so anything I can find at Dollarama for $1.25 is just comparable for me. Um, for those of you that don't know, Dollarama is anywhere from 80 cents up to $4. Picked up this Paw Patrol pencil case. Thought it was a really great deal that I can use to put my kids like markers uh, and pens in. Sorry for the glare, guys. I am trying to get that glare away. So $2.50, just a standard pencil case. Um, I thought this would be fun to put into a sensory bin. Just fun stuff that, you know, your kid can go hunting for. Uh, I really have no idea what these are. I've never heard of the Cupcake Bears before, but yeah, I grabbed that. It was $2.50, and they had a ton to choose from. Uh, here's the five surprises. Now, these are available at stores like Walmart, and I think they retail for around $7. This was on the more expensive side. It was uh, $4, but I knew that they go more expensive at a regular store, so like a Walmart. So I grabbed it anyways, but um, yeah, these are just the five surprises. For anybody that doesn't know, you open it up and you get five different surprises um, inside. Kids love them. Um, all right, there's my receipt. By the way, if you're wondering how much I spent, I spent 
$32 at Dollar Tree and $31, I think it was, uh, looking at my receipt here, $30 at the Dollarama. Um, all right, so picked up some clothing pins. Now, these are for the sensory bin, but for anybody interested, these are pretty good clothing, clothing pins. Um, only $1.25, and you get a bunch of really nice colors. Oh, I was really excited about this. Now, this is, again, a lot of this is kid stuff, so if you're not interested in the kid stuff, sorry. Uh, but that's really what I went there looking for. I was really happy to find these. A dollar. And yeah, there are a bunch of eyeballs, but for parents out there, you guys know where I'm coming from. All of the craft kits that you get, there's a lot of like peel and stick craft kits, but then you get the eyes and the eyes always have to be glued on with glue and then it never sticks properly and then they're always falling off. Anyways, I was really excited to find these um, sticker eyes for a lot of the crafts that we do. Uh, my Dollarama had Easter stuff out, so they've started doing Easter so that's super exciting. I picked up these two packs of funny faces and they're only $1.50. So it's just a bunch of different faces inside and you, oh, I can show you the cover. And you make fun faces. So you get like a blank rabbit face and then you have all of these attachables to make fun faces. Really fun for kids. I got two of those. Picked up some candy. So I mentioned this all the time in my videos. If I'm gonna go to Dollarama, I will get candy from there instead of Dollar Tree because it is cheaper. 82 cents for candy, whereas my Dollar Tree would be $1.25. Uh, picked up an ice cube tray, $1.25. Now this is for sensory, but pick that up. Uh, oh, and these, oh, these I'm excited about. Yeah, I get really excited about kid stuff. <laughs> Uh, just because I do a lot of kids crafts. So these are $1.50 and they're just foam, different foam like art things that you can do. So these are foam pictures. So here's a teddy bear. I just love these because they can keep your kid really entertained for a while. They're inexpensive and they're fun and you can, you know, display them in their rooms or wherever you want after. Um, so I got the teddy bear and then I got the unicorn. They also had... Uh, a little mermaid as well but just to show you you just get all of the pieces inside and I love these because they're all stick and peel but guys there are the eyeballs I was talking about so everything in kits like this are stick and peel but the eyeballs but now I have a solution because I bought some adhesive eyeballs and there you have it all right, so that is it, guys. So I know it was pretty much a haul for parents <laughs> if you have kids or if you have nieces and nephews or children that you want to do things with. Um, but lots of creative art uh, ideas and just different things that you can buy to keep your kids entertained if you're looking for those types of ideas. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will definitely be doing more. I'll be doing more um, decor, like house decor hauls when my dollar stores get more of their St. Patty's and Valentine's and Easter stuff out. So when that happens, definitely be doing more of that. Would love to hear from you. Leave comments below. Let me know what your favorite items are to buy at the Dollar Tree. I'm always excited to hear what people love most about the Dollar Tree. So leave me a comment below. Let me know. And again, Happy New Year to all of you. And thank you so much for watching. Love and peace to you all. Bye.